Hi, hi, welcome to this new video tutorial on Retool. Welcome to the channel if this is the first time you are in here. Uh, if you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get notifications for new videos. In this one, I'll show you how to link two select components so that dynamically changes the information that the second select component shows depending on what the first one has selected. And we will look at uh, two or three JavaScript functions that are super helpful to uh, put the information within your select components to make them look nice. Let's go. OK, so I have a very simple with a form. This form is to submit an expense. And this form has four select components, a company, a lead, category, and subcategory. And what we want to do is that the lead, this one just shows information that relates to the selected company. And we want category to only show information that relates to the category selected here. All right, let's see how we can do that. As you can see, I have four queries. Each one of them are respectively mapping each select component. It's very simple data source. I'm mapping them here. And lead ones is that was being mapped by get leads and category and subcategory as well. Now, how can I filter leads so that it only shows leads related to the selected company? So if I select one here and I look at the view state, you will see here the value selected. However, you also have a property selected item, which will show you all of the other information as well here. Now, when I select here as well, one value, you will see the same thing. And you will see that my selected item also has the company ID, which is already in there. It's, it's in my query. When I pull the leads, I'm also pulling the company ID. So what I'll do is filter my data source so that it's only, it's only showing company leads that match the company ID selected here. Now, before we can do that, because what I'll have to do here is apply a filter, I'm going to get an error because this is not formatted as an array. Can see here it's from a company ID and opportunity name. So what I'll do is I'll go to my query and I'll transform the results. And here I will put format data as array. Sorry about that. As array, put it between brackets and now save and run. Now you can see if I select my data, now it's as an array and I can actually apply the filter. So it sometimes doesn't there you go. So now what I'll do is and it shows me the options. So what I'll do is I'll define so X company ID, which is a value within my selected item, is equal to select one dot value, right? So now it has just filtered in one here. Now they, there's an issue here if we we have clear clear button. So we clear this here you'll see that the value is empty. So it's not showing anything because there's nothing here in value. So something that you can do is then either hide or disable your select component until select one has a value. So we will see select one value. Right now, value is null. So if it's null, disabled. So now you can see this is disabled until this has a value, and then it will filter down to any lead that is connected to this company. So the same thing here, I have my categories and I have my subcategories, right? Now, I'm going to show you something. So here, I want to add a caption to show which, which category does every subcategory belongs. And I have added this, but again, here it tells me data find is not a function. The same thing as with filter, find needs for the data source to be an array. So if I go here, you can see that it's not. So what I'll go is I go to get categories and do the same thing. I'll go here, format data as array, between brackets and save and run. So now you can see that my caption is now working because the find function is now able to being applied to a data that is an array here. So I've been able to do that. And what I will do is the same thing. I will filter this. It won't work because subcategories data is not an array yet, but still we'll do X, sorry, X. So it will be category ID. 
is equal to select for the value. So I still getting the error. Data filter is not a function. So I will get good set categories, format data as array, save and run. So now this will be working. It gives me an empty array because there's nothing selected here. So if I just put now office costs, I will be showing only the values that have office costs. And that is a way how you can filter a select component based on the selection of another select component. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you would like to know anything else related to this simple functionality that makes your select components more dynamic.